Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Hope everybody's still staying healthy, staying safe. Wanted to start out this morning by telling everybody I appreciate all the nice comments, the DMs, the information. James Cook, I want to thank you very much for sending me the cigars. Two Guys Smoke Shop, much appreciated. Um, uh, uh, and the nurses in New York making me the thank you. He's making it, putting smiles on people's faces. That's what I like to do. So I want to just uh, thank everybody. Now let's get into some shit. You understand, right, that the media only shows us what they want us to see. Because the multi-billionaires are behind it all. They kind of dictate to the media what, what they're going to put out to the public. Same thing with the politicians. It's all fucking together, okay? So the first thing that happens is, I'm going to be like Captain Bob. Remember the guy that painted a nice little tree? Uh, I'm going to give you a little painting, an outline how this all fucking goes down, how it went down. They come out and they, they throw... They throw the, we, the, we got an ep, uh, epidemic, this uh, pandemic, uh, COVID-19, okay? The American people, holy fuck, we're going to die. That's the reaction. Now, you understand that they already have a plan based on how the people, we the people, are going to react, okay? So now they, they got us on, on alert. Fuck, w what's going to happen? What do we need to do? What do we need to do? So the first thing they say, okay, you got to go. We want you to get masks, we want you to get gloves, we want social distancing six feet apart. That's how we're going to stop this, okay? Now, everybody runs the fuck out and gets all this shit immediately, right? You can't even find shit anymore. Everyone's going, they, toilet paper, absolutely. How the fuck that became an immune system thing instead of an asshole thing, I still don't know. But anyway, that's what happened. So everybody goes and does that. The fucking multi-billionaires, the people trying to control the government, trying to control the fucking world. It sees all this happening, says, okay, beautiful, we got this. All the people are doing exactly what we told them. Let's, you know, if they told everybody to fucking stand on one foot and jump up and down, most of you would do it because everybody's waiting. They need, they need information. We're going to listen to whatever the fuck we see on TV. We're puppets. We're fucking sheep. So they keep going, okay? The next thing they do. We're going to have everybody lock the fucking business down, lock down, stay at home. Okay, so now everyone does that. Look, businesses are shut down, except for the, the essential ones, and then you're staying at home. Now, when that happens, people start drinking, kids start getting on people's nerves, there's a lot more um, uh, domestic disputes, a lot of shit's happening, they're stirring this all up, fucking crazy things are happening, they know it, and there's another reaction by the people, the us, they're seeing, they're like, okay, now we're getting these people pissed, pissed off, so people are getting pissed off. They want to throw it a fucking date, reopen date. So they go ahead, they throw it a date, we're going to start reopening here. That date comes around, guess what? The date changes, the fucking death tolls are up, the numbers of this, the this, that. Everything gets changed around again to try to keep people at bay. But while this is all happening, and things aren't making sense, people are starting to go back and say, geez, th this isn't making sense. And they start reading, investigating research, myself included, finding out that this is a whole fucking hoax. Bill Gates, Fauci, all these motherfuckers, all no good cocksuckers behind it, funding this whole thing, trying to control population, vaccination, all this bullshit, they're trying to control us. We're the sheep, they want us to fucking follow. Nah, ain't happening. We need all of us to come together to overpower them. Because when they see that we're not listening anymore, that's when shit will change. Now, as far as reopening businesses, right? Look, I'm giving an invitation to all the politicians. Why don't you come down to my place and take a nice steamy shit right at my front door? Because that's what you're doing, essentially. You're shitting on the fucking people who have businesses. That's what you're doing. So come, I welcome you. Take a shit at my front door. Look. Then what they did is they gave another date. Okay, everyone gets things. Okay, we're going to calm down a little bit. We, we, we have this other date. They cancel that date. Okay, now, with all these people with all this information, finding out this whole thing's a hoax, and, and, and look, people dying, yes. Is it an infectious disease? Yes. But they're not treating the people the way they're supposed to be. They're letting the people die. 
They have the medications to help. They're not using the fucking medications. The ventilation things, the death wishes, they, they, they're not even doing that right. These doctors are getting seven-page memos from the government telling them what to do, how to classify it, and getting these fucking hospitals more money. Look, everything is bad. What they're doing, everything is wrong. They ain't helping the fucking people. But the people are educating themselves. Now they're starting to protest. They're starting to go on. Now they're starting to hear us come out a little bit because more and more people are jumping on board. That's exactly what we need to do. Because now that's the only way they're going to fucking listen. A lady in Texas opened her hair salon, seven days in jail, $7,000 fine. Fucking the, 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 the governor, the mayor in, um, in Chicago. If they don't like the way you look, you're going to fucking jail, they said. Well, you fucked up. Go ahead, take us to fucking jail. It ain't going to fucking last. Look, people, we need to come together as one and fight back for our rights. When they see that we don't believe their bullshit anymore, that's when we're going to reopen. Okay, now, today, Massachusetts, May 6th, got to wear the mask. You got one? Uh, uh, <laughs> you see one over here? Nothing. Ain't happening. But anyway, I hope you all have a great day. And uh, try to get a suntan and all the vitamin D you can outside in the sun. Take care.